So these are all the tomatoes from my garden. I have these like Roma tomatoes, and then I've got all these little tiny baby cherry tomatoes. So I'm just rinsing them all off, making sure there's no dirt or debris on them. So gardening was something that I shared with my grandfather and uh, cooking and he has been gone for two years now. Last year I didn't really plan to anything at all just because I just kind of couldn't get past that I don't have that to share with him anymore. And then this year it was kind of a little bit of the same but I'm like, you know what, he wouldn't want me to quit, he wouldn't want me to give up. But we also got the dog in October. So this year it was kind of like, well, if I'm gonna do a garden, I need to put up a fence because she's a fence runner, which is where my garden is. Yeah, I put out some plants and she destroyed them. So next year I'm, I'm ready to get back into, into business here. Cause I really do love having my own fresh produce and I love just, you know, I don't know, having, just fresh ingredients that I grew myself. And there's something really special about watching my kids pick strawberries and tomatoes and green peppers and just eating them straight from the garden. And it's a bonding experience. Me and my daughter go out and we pick the tomatoes from the garden and we both have our own little bowls. And it's, it's really nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these like Roma tomatoes into just slices and then I'll put them in this tray for the dehydrator so they can dehydrate. And then the little ch cherry tomatoes, I will just cut in half. I use my dehydrator a lot to make tomato paste, which is one of my favorite things. I put it on my breakfast sandwiches, I just eat it by itself. It's just, it's so good. One of the things that I really do wanna make is beef jerky. My grandpa used to make beef jerky with his dehydrator and it was really good. And then we also give this out to our neighbor friends. I like using the cherry tomatoes for this paste because they're just so like, I don't know, there's like a tartness to them. I've really enjoyed making sauces with cherry tomatoes, making salsas with cherry tomatoes. Like I just find them if you're a tomato lover. I don't know why I just did that that way. But I love using cherry tomatoes for my stuff. And then we're gonna do the cherry tomatoes, which so tiny. I just slice them in half and I don't even finish to like the bottom. See, they just like stick to each other. And it doesn't matter because we're gonna we're gonna blend them all up anyways. Look at these little babies. <laughs> but I'll tell you, they're packed with a little punch. They are cute, but they are packed with some flavor. This is time consuming and a little labor of love, but I thoroughly enjoy it. And it's one of the things that I'm like really proud to make and it's really good. My, uh, my neighbor texted me the other day. He's like, hey, uh, you know, you got any more of that, uh, you know, tomato paste? <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. I don't know what it is. Well, I think I'm definitely like my love language is, why are you so close? My God, I was like way close. My love language is definitely acts of service and to watch people eat my food and uh, enjoy it or want more of it is like, I, I don't know, it just, it makes me so happy. So whenever I make something and people are like, oh my God, I love it, I'm like, yes. It makes me so happy. Now, the one thing about my grandpa was he would ask you, do you like it? Um, and no is not an option. Even if you were like, yeah, you know, this isn't my style or like, for example, I hate mushrooms with my entire full being. Mushrooms make me sick to my stomach. I just, the I, ugh, okay. But he would make something and I'd be like, Papa, I don't like it. Mama. Yes, honey. But I'd be like, Papa, it has mushrooms. I don't like it. And he'd be like, oh my God, just eat it. It's good. 
I still don't like it. Like I, you know, and I like, that's one thing that I, my kids have to try everything. And in turn, I have to try everything, but my kids have to try everything. You don't have to like it, but you do have to try it. And I do cook everybody the same meal for dinner. And then, you know, with my son, there are certain foods that he doesn't like, but like sometimes he'll eat it and sometimes he won't. And so I make him the same dinner and if he absolutely won't eat it, then I'll just, you know, try to, try to make him something else because he can't tell us if he doesn't like the flavor, if he, if it's a sensory thing, like maybe he doesn't like the texture, you know, I don't know. But I'm, I, I never want to force my kids to eat something that they don't like. I remember my family would get pizza with mushrooms on it. And when I was little and they'd be like, just pick them off. And I would, and I would just still taste the mushroom taste, or I would like, go to bite through a piece of pizza and I thought I got it all and I didn't. And I bit through the mushroom and there's something about that texture that just, <sighs> I have sauteed mushrooms for like over a steak for my husband. I've gone out and got them and then, and then made them for him. And even just working with them, washing them and cutting them and just, oh, the whole experience, negative 1000 out of 10. So I have them all in here and then I will just turn this on and just let the time go for as long as possible until I feel, until I feel like they're ready. And also I will switch the trays. So either tonight or maybe tomorrow, I'll take this tray and move it to the top and keep rotating them until I feel like they're all dehydrated to where I want them to be. So eventually they're gonna turn into these, which are like these little candied goodness. We're gonna mix everything. Look at, I'm scraping out the bottom of the barrel, but we'll get everything mixed together and it'll eventually look like this. And it's delicious, girl. So now it's four o'clock and I need to start cooking my kids some dinner. Oh boy, I don't like this. We'll do this. I have started cooking my kids dinner right after they get out of school because they are completely just like super famished. So the nice thing is, is I can cook them knife, a knife, a nice healthy meal and uh, you know, chicken breast and a vegetable, probably edamame because these kids like they treat edamame like candy. It's so funny, but then they eat all their good stuff and then before bed or whatever, it's like, yeah, okay, fine, have your chips. But when we were doing it reversed and they were coming home and they were really hungry, they'd be sucking down three, four bags of chips. My kids eat berries, 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 and then they wouldn't want to eat the dinner at all. So we've switched that up. So my kitchen is a mess right now because we got a new dishwasher replaced because our other one just stopped working, which makes sense. We've been in this house for about eight years and God knows how long they had the dishwasher before we moved into the house. And you know, when it rains, it pours, you know, like, uh. um, because we went to the hospital with my daughter, we got home, our hot water heater went out, our plumbing backed up, and then the dishwasher went out. <laughs> home ownership. So we got a new dishwasher. Um, I just used it for the first time today, but the guys came in and they noticed that, I guess the way the machine had picked up the dishwasher and put it in the truck, there's a big old dent in the front door, so they are going to have to replace it. Uh, but I get to use it until they replace it, so it's fine. So tonight's gonna be a little bit of a different like hodgepodge of a meal. I'm gonna give my son some chicken breast and edamame. I am going to give my daughter a salmon patty and corn she asked for. And then myself, I have leftover steak and risotto because she's fancy but I'll probably end up just putting the steak in my Caesar salad and uh, yeah, calling it a night.